people ask, why do we use maple to make violin, make violins out of? Everything on most violins is maple, except for the top and the fingerboard, of course. But the body of the instrument is primarily maple with a spruce top. So here's a chunk of maple that shows um, why it's so good. It's a very close-grained wood. There's no voids in it like you see in oak. It's what we call a close-grained wood. So it's like a solid, solid thing with no voids in it. And it also has this very beautiful flame, which people often ask about. There you can see the flame, and if I, if I wet it, which is what the effect of varnishing does, you can really see it, it pop out. So where does that undulation come from? It comes from the grain itself. This is the exterior of the tree right beneath the bark. And the grain of the wood is undulating. And when you cut it off straight, you get this effect. Very pretty. Now here's the, the sides. Uh, you can see the f this is the flames that you would see on a violin back if it were joined up like that. And that wood, when it's not planed, you can see has quite a undulating texture. So the, the grain is actually going up like a twisting spaghetti. And where this comes from, when the tree grows, it'll be cut down and the trunk will be cut into uh, lengths that correspond to the length of a violin, viola, cello, bass. And then if you think of it like a cake, you cut a cake slice out of it and that slice is then split in two. And that piece, which is, this is that, like this little piece, one side will get swung around like this and joined together. To be more accurate, that would, that would look like this. One side's flat and one side's peaked, and that gives you the arching. And then you have this, this flat side over here, and you lay your violin outline on there, and that gets sawn out. One side is flat, that goes towards the inside of the instrument, and the, ar the arched exterior is carved out of this uh, shape that you have on the outside. And that's where you get the arching from, and that's where the, the beautiful flames and figure of the wood comes from. It comes from the nature of the tree.